if you have ever questioned me on why I think Jim Caldwell is a fool of a head coach, well, step on up. You're the roller coaster's open. Back and forth kind of thing. Yeah, that's right, Jim. You were looking for something while the rest of planet Earth was looking for the other thing. It's called Hail Mary. Good afternoon, everybody. Unbleeping believable. No, 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 Mike. Believable. Believable. It's the Detroit Lions. Oh, no! We were looking for more of that pitch it back and forth kind of thing. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You're kind of looking for more of that pass back and forth kind of thing. How many uh, quarterbacks in the NFL do you think can throw at 60 yards? All of them. Right. <laughs> What's the back and forth thing? This isn't Miami Duke. Look, I, I, I have said this since he got hired. You need to be wary of this guy. Last year, they go 11-5 and five in spite of him. This year, it's not working out so well. They're losing because of him. Jim Caldwell should not have a job. He's the, a coordinator. He's the a, he mis- a coordinator. The mismanagement of late game situations is unforgivable. The amount of suckitude that goes into that play in order to give the Packers a realistic shot to complete the pass, you got to work hard to put a team in that spot. First of all, you never, ever, Rush three guys, ever. Mistake number one, you got a quarterback that can move. Rush four, stay in your lanes, and guess what? He won't get it to the end zone because he won't be able to step up anywhere or roll out anywhere. That's mistake one. Oh, boop, 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 boop. Coach of Carousel of Stupidity, let's take a ride. Hey, I got an idea. I'm going to have Ziggy Ansah play corner. The best player on your team is Ziggy Ansa. You didn't have him rush the quarterback. Oh, no's. What? Because you had Ziggy Ansa preparing for option football. He was guarding the sideline 30 yards downfield. What are you doing? Mistake number three. Ziggy wasn't alone. You had another one of your players covering no one. So you rush no one, two guys to cover no one. You damn near ended up with man-to-man coverage in the end zone. Oh, then we get to the end zone. I know. You know how for the rest of our life, Terry, we've seen Calvin play center field on these plays? I've seen him do that. He does a pretty good job. Dungeon of Doom when I walk in the room. Yeah. Not tonight. Calvin, nowhere to be seen because your head coach didn't expect a Hail Mary. (laughs) He should expect a pink slip if this was an actual organization instead of some family-run Mickey Mouse nonsense. Dungeon of Doom when I walk into that room. You screwed up so many things, Jim. You basically helped the Packers. And I know what a lot of these are going to do. And you can complain, you can whine, you can cry, do whatever you want to do. They called the face mask penalty. It is what it is. Did he hit the face mask? He did. Did he pull on it? Not particularly hard. Did he move the face mask with his arm motion and hand on it? He did. Here's what you need to recognize. It's Aaron Rodgers. He had nowhere to lateral the football. You had no reason to try to take his head off. You could have literally stood there and Aaron Rodgers had nowhere to go. And he couldn't throw a forward pass. So unless Aaron Rodgers was going to turn into Gale Sayers, there was no reason to do what Devin Taylor did. But basically, here's how Terry told me to open the show. So I'll just open it. I told you? Oh, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to repeat verbatim what you told me, and you won't even deny. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Mike and Terry. Give us a call, you bleepity bleeps. <laughs> 248-539-9797. You're a Caldwell supporter? Good luck. This guy, time and again, finds ways to screw up. Get rid of this guy. I expected more of the pitch it back and forth thing. You're kind of looking for more of that pass back and forth kind of thing? No. Actually, we were looking for a Hail Mary. Oh, no! 
Yes, Terry. Didn't Cordell Stewart throw one against oh, Michigan? Stop. Uh, just stop. I'm just saying. It, it's the All ball right. was spotted at the 40 or the 39, and it's Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. What's his arm in a sling? It's not in a sling. But first of all, I'm a little surprised by you today, little tanker. Maybe Caldwell made the right move. You didn't want him to win. Ever think about that? Because you want him to lose every game. Amen. Right? Amen. Right, little tanker? Well, this is a gift. The fans don't know it. But I get upset when I see people that are inept. All right. Here's, here's, here's another thing. Here's a couple things that you missed out on bad coaching. Obviously, before the game even started, their secondary was not taught how to cover the Hail Mary. And, Mike, this is something that is thought out, is something that's done before the game even starts because you don't know if you're going to get into that situation. Why were five guys behind, behind yep. him? They now, got boxed out. They were boxing out. They got boxed Nobody out. Nobody covered Richard Rodgers. No one even well, acknowledged Richard Rodgers was on the field. But here's what happened. Because Aaron Rodgers was given that extra time where he was able to, by the way, roll out to what would be his right instead of his left where he can get everything into that. Well, and a running start like right. he's throwing a javelin. Rodgers didn't go down the field right off the bat. Now, if you rush four, if you rush four, Rodgers, who was trotting down there, doesn't have enough time to get right. in position. At the very least, maybe you get a pass to him at the 20 or 15, and then you yeah. tackle him. But he released, and he, Mike, he's not running down. He's trotting down the field. Nobody sees him. He looks up, turns around simply, and just caught the ball. It's It was as simple as that. So you weren't taught how to cover the Hail Mary. You rushed three, which gave Aaron Rodgers. He could have been back there 25 right. seconds. Had two people covering no one. Mike? And, and you know what? I will never be a defensive coordinator. But if I'm in a Hail Mary situation, I am always rushing for. Hey, absolutely. You and I are in lockstep. It. The point I make, and look, no, I think it's actually a good thing they lost. But my, my point is, Jim Caldwell is awful at his job. Okay? That, that's not mince words. He's atrocious in late game situations. It's well chronicled. You have to check the report. People that are well respected in the league think the same thing. This mm-hmm. isn't some Mike versus the Lions thing. Jim Caldwell is bad with a capital B in late game spots. Enough. The fact that your head coach had the audacity, I'll tell you, it does take a set of stones to get up to that podium and tell people you didn't expect the Hail Mary. It takes a set of stones. (laughs) That is amazing. Did any of you sitting at home not expect a Hail Mary? Any of you. No, every everybody was saying, okay, here comes the Hail Mary. So the one guy who didn't expect the Hail Mary is the man charged with putting his players in the best possible positions to succeed. You're kind of looking for more of that pass back and forth kind of thing? No, actually, I wasn't. Once the penalty was called, look, Mike, my, my, the, the play before, yes, I expected that thing where you're passing it back and forth because you're a little bit out of range. But once Rodgers got, you know, there, you knew he could get the ball to the end zone. You had to expect the Hail Mary. That's your best Terry, shot. Terry, it's malfeasance. Mm. That, that there's, there's nothing else. You know, I had, I had to sit there and listen to this, this public relations stuff, and I don't know what's going on with Martha Ford. I don't know what's going on with Monday morning quarterback or CBS and whatever was put in Phil Simms stocking. But the the – soliloquies about a 90-year-old lady are just a little much for me. They're treating her like Rocky Balboa. Oh, Martha's completely changed the culture here. <laughs> Pep talks. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? It was their longest winning streak of the season. Congratulations. Well, we could put that back in its box now. Please, enough with the, the, the oh, the Lions and Martha. It's a new day. What? Are you, what? Sorry if you're offended by that. Expect me to believe that some 90-year-old lady with no football background who's just been beyond wealthy her entire life is all of a sudden going to float down from the clouds and she's George Hallis? Well, no, but when you fire people, it gets people's attention. Oh, that's that's what she did there, Look, right? if she had the guts and she really wanted to show people what the deal was, get rid of Caldwell today because if if, if I'm an owner and my coach comes out telling me I didn't expect the Hail Mary there, I need a new head coach. That, that's his taking the win moment. That's his I don't coach that stuff moment. Mm-hmm. That's his what does a guy got to do to get fired around here moment. Yes, sir.
He oh, told. Oh, did you lose the team? Huh? I don't know. Huh? That's his moment. Who are you? Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. I'm going to get with the people next. And you, you, look, I haven't even gotten to your play calling, which Caldwell is at fault for the conservative nature of it in the second half. And oh, by the way, your golden boy Stafford. We got to discuss him too. But it, it's a therapy day for you guys. Let's get in. Let's talk about it. We're going to get to Michigan State, and we're going to get to the Big Ten Championship. Lord knows you're a Lions fan. You may as well watch Michigan State. It's the only time you'll see a team in the state play for a title. Ooh. No, you didn't. You're kind of looking for more of that pass back and forth kind of thing. Oh, Dungeon of Doom when I walk in the room. <laughs> Must be kidding. I almost fell off the damn couch. I ought to send him insurance, busted up my damn shoulder. 97-1. <laughs>